Over time, Fortnite have added some pretty questionable things to the game. And not only that, but some pretty out of this world things have happened in terms of in-game events. And I mean that as in the visitor aliens and rocket ships out of this world. You know, nothing too special. It's because of these outlandish things that the Fortnite community on a wider scale has become much more open to the idea and are much more inclined to believe that certain things that are a little strange could be coming to the game that actually aren't. A lot of these things just aren't real, or they're purely speculation, or just really good clickbait. So we welcome you to the top five fake Fortnite updates that we thought we'd be seeing. Eventually. At, at some point? Maybe tomorrow? No? Oh, well then, number five the Kraken event. So when season eight dropped, I'm fairly sure a large portion of the Battle Royale community were hoping to see some sort of Kraken boss battle-like event. The fact is this spot on the list is one of the only ones that has any real evidence that made us all believe we'd be seeing some. When the pirate themed areas appeared, Kraken and octopus like drawings and sculptures could be seen all around the map. And if you look at the ship alone, it has that octopus like symbol on the sails that can be seen all over pirate areas throughout the island. Then at the front, you have that classic wooden carved front end shaped into to another octopus-like creature. Head on into one of the back houses at Lazy Lagoons and you can even find a chandelier with a similar shape. In the Season 8 trailer and on the treasure map item, you can see a giant-like kraken monster at the edge rising from the ocean and looking at the island. Now, this all could just be a part of the pirate theme and nothing more than that, just that added monster touch from the pirate stories of old. However, there was still more supporting evidence that turned those sculptures and drawings from just added decor into possible hints. In the same house, you can find the chandelier. Check out a small painting on the wall and it shows the volcano, same one from on Battle Royale Island, as you can tell by the similar lava flows. But this one is surrounded by a lot more water, which leads a lot of people to believe that the water may be rising in those areas later in the season. Another factor to take in is the Save the World side of the community has recently had a boss battle to fight the Storm King in their storyline. Some of the first players to complete this are just now receiving actual real life rewards, a little Storm King pin, and I'm fairly sure we'd all appreciate something like that on Battle Royale. This boss battle though has given us more faith that we might be seeing one too. And it's most likely too late for the Storm King now, but given we had all this evidence pointing towards a Kraken and made a lot of the community believe a Kraken boss battle might be coming. As of yet, nothing has shown up. Some believe that it would be one of the early LTMs but nothing yet. Although the floor is lava has been a great addition. You can even find multiple videos and live streams going Kraken event is happening now. Kraken event is happening now. With the repeated timers, which count down to, you guessed it, absolutely nothing. In all honesty, if we were to have an event as big as a Kraken boss battle, I'm fairly sure Epic Games would have given us a heads up like they have with other important events. This isn't just a random strike of lightning or a minor earthquake. This is a giant monster and they'll definitely want us to be watching when it happens. If we bring it back to that volcano painting for a second, the most likely scenario right now with the evidence that we have shows that if a kraken were to appear it would be after the water has risen like it has in the picture allowing the kraken to swim in from the ocean and i'm fairly sure he's not going to fit in the two feet deep water that we see at lazy lagoon right now maybe that's why there's an excess of cannons in the area to fight this monster it's still all just a theory right now but if we if we were to have a boss fight how do you reckon it's going to go down number four the spider-man skin this time it isn't a single in-game thing that showed any evidence toward a spider-man outfit it was all just chinese whispers if you haven't been able to tell already there's a whole clickbaiting side to YouTube where channels will manipulate and use false information to draw us all in. Now, sure, we like to add all of that shininess to our thumbnails and make it look good and professional and really, really clickable, but there's a difference between misleading and really clickable. The information on our channel is always accurate, and we're always bringing you guys the best possible content. We may have strayed from this in the past, but we found our way, and we're trying better every single day. But clickbaiting in general has been a massive problem on YouTube and doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon. The fact is that a certain theme that gets clickbaited a lot can often cause false rumors to spread around the community. This time, it's a supposed Spider-Man skin. Around six to seven months ago, certain players figured out that they could introduce their own custom skins into the game by messing around with the in-game files, which is obviously a big no-no from Epic Games. YouTubers like TBNR Frags and Kiwis were showing off Spider-Man skin that was really well done. It genuinely looked like a real skin developed for the game. This in turn gave a lot of clickbait channels and minigun clips worth of clickbait to bump out. Even though these YouTubers were obvious that it was hacks, the fact is a lot of daily Fortnite-like channels use this Spider-Man skin for their clickbait. With actual in-game footage to go with it, a lot of players who didn't know it was a custom skin began to believe it was something that would be appearing soon. As much as I'm sure we'd all love to play a superhero
superheroes. This time, it was all just clickbait and Chinese whispers. Although, thinking about it, if you did get to play as your favorite superhero, who would you pick? Number three, the volcano event in season six. So it's currently season eight, and we finally got the volcano that we've all been waiting for oh so long. A volcano appearing in Fortnite has been theorized on probably as early as season five going on to season six. And in all honesty, this was one of the first major Fortnite events that never happened. And I'd be lying if I said I didn't get caught up in it at the time. I'm finishing up my gaming session, about to go to bed and check out what's going on YouTube before heading off to the land of Nod. That is until I see a horde of live streams all shouting at me, Volcano event at Loot Lake is happening right now. Right now. A lot of them have timers. I, I waited for the first one and guess what? No, nothing happened. Oh my God. Wow. I thought just in case I'll wait for the next cat that. Again, nothing happened. It turns out I, like many others, had got caught in this honey trap. This horde of volcano event live streams that never happened went on for months. Now, the reason it went on for so long was due to multiple leaked files. And to be honest, you can easily see how this all got mis- interpreted, misconstrued, and misled. At first, we had a leaked image showing a bird's eye view of Loot Lake with what looked like a silhouette of a volcano. Many took this as proof, but as we pointed out in a top five theories video by the volcano back then, the image just does not match up. There was also a leaked 3D model sound files encoding that all indicated towards a volcano. The coding specifically said volcanic pit and lava blobs. The audio file sounded like a bubbling volcano, and the 3D model looked exactly like the crater section for a volcano. Well, it turns out that Fortnite were sending us on a wild goose chase because that 3D model just turned out to be the many pink craters that we saw at the corrupted zones and all the audio files and coded names were part of that pink crater. And this is one of the many reasons you need to be careful with leaked information. It's very easily misinterpreted and can often be bait to make us look elsewhere. But let's be honest, not gonna stop us from trying to see what's coming next. Number two, the meteor strike and rocket hitting Tilted Towers. So personally, I think these two events have gone a little unnoticed as a couple of Fortnite's biggest pranks, you know, little little prank, little prank invasion. The, the meteor strike was a minor joke, but the rocket launch event was their big one. Now, the meteor was Fortnite Battle Royale's first appearance of a storyline. Appearing in the sky just after season three had started. So as it slowly got bigger and bigger, we all began to realize it was coming straight for the island. But where's it going to hit? We've only recently got Tilted Towers in the previous season, and there was a lot of controversy over it. Surely they would. Next thing we know, a bunch of signs appear around Tilted Towers on the rooftops. One shows Tilted Towers at a heart, while another shows the comet. There's even one with a UFO. At the time, a fair few people thought this was going to be the end of Tilted Towers, but it's okay. Either this was just a joke from Fortnite, or perhaps just some added storyline decor. On the other hand, Fortnite's rocket launch event was definitely a big hoax. Well, obviously not the rocket itself, but its actual target. Previously to the event, a mysterious vibration had emerged with an update, and at first, everyone thought it was a bug. Fortnite even tweeted out confirming this, but let's not forget that this was the day before April Fool's. Didn't think we'd notice, did you? Well, shortly after, someone actually managed to decipher these not-so-random vibrations. Reddit user Vigilance Foe Tracer figured out the pattern and using Morse code translated it into SOS D5418. Many took an SOS distressing signal that was warning us about Tilted Towers, the map coordinates for D5, and then the time, which was 418 April 2018. Sure enough, April ends, it's the 1st of May, and we had the rocket launch, our first in-game event. Now, if your memory serves correctly, you'll most likely realize that Tilted Towers is still standing and the rocket never actually hit it, but that doesn't mean that SOS was a troll, or does it? Ha 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 ha, epic. We're on to you. We all thought Tilted was gone, but now we're still trying to figure out who or what saved us. Was it the butterflies? I never mentioned everyone. The fake season seven trailer that went viral. We've all seen now how creators can use 3D models and in-game green screens to create some truly amazing animations. If you didn't know, we've already started our very own Fortnite animation that you can check out. Now, obviously, people can use this to create some amazing stories, but you'll also find some that you'll use to create possible scenarios. For one example, a fake Season 7 trailer. Yep, one creator known as Kiosfr actually created such a well-made Season 7 trailer that a lot of the community fell for it. The animations were pretty smooth, and it truly fit what we might be seeing in Season 7 to all the evidence we had gathered from Season 6. A possible robot army. New magical abilities that coincided with the recently Added Caster and Elmira skins and snow to fit the upcoming iceberg and winter theme. In all honesty, for an advanced editor, it's probably an easy spot to see it's not a real trailer, especially the beginning, the way the plane's edges don't smooth in with the background. But to most people just glancing through YouTube, they didn't notice it was fake. Kios actually had to come out a day later with a video showing how he made this trailer to prove that it was fake and calm the community down. And in at number one, the golden umbrella being unlockable. The biggest debate of all time. So Fortnite tournaments have 
have an insane amount of support at the moment. And the level of professionalism, prizes, and rules is constantly being improved upon. Why is this important to the Golden Umbrella? Because it completely solves the mystery. This Golden Umbrella has been popping up in the community for some time now. Discussions about it being in the files and how we can possibly unlock it. Is it some sort of secret unlockable thing that we'll randomly achieve after completing something we had no idea we needed to complete? Or perhaps it'll be out in the future? At the moment, we know it's in the game due to these tournaments. In the ESL tournaments, they'll make sure every player uses a random cosmetic setup. This is given to them on full cosmetic access accounts. This means they'll sometimes be using skins or items that aren't officially released to the public yet, and that is why you'll sometimes see players with a golden umbrella in ESL tournaments. At the moment, you can still find a lot of players in videos all trying to figure out how to unlock it. The clickbait itself is just as strong as ever with people making claims on how to unlock the golden umbrella, speculating it's based on the amount of wins you get at a certain time or some other bogus reason, but the Fortnite golden umbrella has become one of those key phrases that you can't type into YouTube without having to cipher through 95% of the clickbait to find any valuable information. And in all honesty, I'm fairly sure we just don't have access yet, and, and we just have to hope that we'll get access sooner rather than later. But that has been our list of the top five fake Fortnite updates that you might have believed or you believed or something along those lines. But make sure to click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, push notifications on. Also, use code T5G in the item shop to help support us. Join the Discord, the link is in the description, and keep it here, right here, on Top 5 Gaming.